beauties and girls. It is Melissa Q. Welcome back. If you are new, I just want to say what's up. Yes. And yes, we are talking about university today. Yes. I want to share some tips, some uh, experiences that I've had. And yeah, I think, I think it's important to like go in with some type of information for university and for college whether you're going to college where you're going to a community college whether you're going to university this is a for you or if you're in high school your junior your senior year i actually have a niece that's in high school right now she's graduating this year lord i think it's really good to have some information before going into college what things to look for what things to avoid <laughs> what things in terms of boys in terms of social life in terms of dorm life campus life yeah i got you boo so yeah if you are from cj's channel welcome because guess what congratulations this is a collab you know she's my sister from another mister so we are collabing for this giveaway and we wanted to do it a little bit different i didn't want to do all the school supplies all the pens and paper and all that kind of stuff because i know you already probably have that and i wanted to come a little bit different and i was like girl what can we do that's different and i want to hook up the high schoolers going into college, going in university, going into college period, and just set you up for some stuff that you probably wouldn't have gotten or you probably didn't even think that you needed and hook you up with some makeup and some beauty essentials and for your hair. I got you, boo. Don't forget to check out the end of the video for all the details. I am going to put a timestamp in the case you just want to skip to the giveaway, but definitely you probably want to hear these tips and tricks because Hey Big Sis got you. That's, that's a hashtag I'm on here for right now. I, I actually want to do Hey Big Sis on my channel because I feel like, you know, I don't want to come as a mother. I don't want to come as, you know, someone telling you what to do. But you know, sometimes you need that big sister, that big brother that's going to tell you the real deal, but still sandwich it with some love and some, you know, some humor. So yeah, let's just get straight into the tips and tricks and then I'll see you guys at the end for the giveaway. Okay, we're going to try this again. Okay, so I wasted some of my monster. I'm very sad about that, but I wanted to come and talk to you guys about university. I went to college a four-year college and I have a giveaway for you guys so stick till the end but we're gonna do some chit chat and maybe some like tips on university I went to college and the college that I usually go to here in the States it starts in August right before Labor Day so that's usually when colleges start so I went to a four-year college my major was Spanish and Spanish and linguistics and I minored in sociology with um I was one class shy of chemistry I actually wanted to be a chemistry major but I wanted to double major in Spanish and in chemistry but the classes conflicted so I had to choose one and I love language a bit more so that's what i decided to do um did not know i would be in california i knew that i wasn't gonna stay in mississippi that's why i decided to go with language okay so first year university let's talk boys let's talk school and like classes like pick it choosing your classes and stuff hopefully i have this video up before you guys have selected classes so let's talk about classes first y'all because education over like social life although i feel like social life is important because i actually stayed on campus so i can tell you about that too <sighs> classes do not take all of your hardest classes in one semester space it out that's what i would if i could do it all over again oh my lord why did i want to take physics organic chemistry and calculus in the same like almost like oh my goodness like the f easiest way to flunk is to take your classes space them out take some easy classes with difficult basically if you're good in math if you're good in english take courses that you know that you're good at maybe get some advice 
uh, I took a, a tour so I kind of like had some advice even on professors to take so hopefully you can get some insight people know the really good ones on campus so when you're like doing your open house ask ask who the good professors because sometimes yeah get up early because when it's time to select courses everybody and their mama is up early early in the morning and you're basically what we did was we went through the business office first before we could actually course because they want to make sure you paid all your money for the semester so I would say basically have that covered especially in the summertime if you can I'm, I'm still I think I'm up still put up my hair because it's gonna give me some stretch to be honest with you that's really cute right uh, this is like one of the easiest I am coming with a hairstyle like some easy back to school hairstyles for natural hair so look for that let's talk tips in terms of and basically my tips are you're talking to your big sis okay and if you were talking to your big sister and she went to college before you that's the kind of advice I'm gonna give um, take it as a grain with a grain of salt I just want to help you get through university okay because <laughs> somebody helped me so I'm just passing on the love all right so what was the other thing I need to do my brows what was the other thing I want to discuss okay let's talk social life okay and then we'll segue into boys because that's important okay so social life although I was not far from home I felt like it was important for me to like get out and stay on campus which I do not regret do which I do not regret okay I don't regret it at all would I change anything in terms of my campus life first semester I think it's important if you get to your dorm room first okay you can I feel like this is just me tell me how you guys think about this I feel like the first person in the room I think a lot of times I was the first person in the room like I chose what bed that I wanted and the setup was pretty much different freshman year than sophomore through uh, junior because we had it was almost apartment style so you could take a room and then we shared a living room in the bathroom but the first semester in the dorm room I think I took I took the bed that I wanted but then you know the desk space I let the person choose which desk space and closet that they wanted that way it was kind of even you know what I mean and uh, I did my first year Maybe that's a story time because I had a horrible experience with a roommate and y'all it was somebody I knew I should have picked someone that I didn't know it was somebody from high school horrible experience horrible. and um, I should have picked someone selected someone and just say give me somebody random because after that I had an amazing year okay but that first year I don't know see how you feel about it about choosing someone sometimes it's not good especially if you want to have that independence and kind of like a do-over I feel like college is a great do-over because it's adulting it's like semi adulting I don't know you're on your own you kind of getting into your own you, you're learning yourself and sometimes that's not good to like take people along with you honest truth okay but Maybe that's the story time. Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know if you want to hear about that experience. But let's see. So like being courteous, I feel like. And, you know, of course, my roommates had boyfriends. And there was a... My college was very lenient. I think 2 o'clock in the morning was the curfew. Now, who's up 2 o'clock in the morning? obviously not the RA who's gonna come and say okay boys are out at two o'clock in the morning people are sneaking in boys all the time anyway I feel like it's important I took my showers at night so after that first experience um, <clears throat> after that first experience with my roommate I decided I was like you know what it's probably good for me to let 
my roommate know how I feel about boy. I, 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 I didn't date. I didn't have any boyfriends in the beginning. I didn't have a boyfriend. No, a boyfriend's. Anyway, I didn't have a boyfriend at all in the beginning. And so I didn't go in with a boyfriend from high school. That's what I'm trying to say. I think it's important. I took my showers at night. So for privacy reasons, especially since usually the first year you're going to, you know, share a bathroom with like everybody on the floor. I was like, listen, I feel, you know, I totally don't have a problem with your boyfriend being here. Actually, you know, him and I were actually friends too. And I was like, could, you know, I like to take my showers in the evening and I don't want him to feel uncomfortable. I don't want to feel uncomfortable. Would it be okay if at this certain time I'm going to take my, sh you know, take my showers and when I come back to the dorm room, like, you know, could I have some privacy? And she was like, sure. I was like, oh my God, that was so easy. That was after the first semester. Okay. So like just letting your roommate know in a courteous way how you feel. I feel like in terms of communication, this is not your sisters. This is not, you know, your brothers and sisters. So it's not like mom, you can't go and tell mom. Okay. You can't go and tell dad, you know, how crazy your sister or brother is acting. Okay, you have to learn how to communicate properly with people in college. So I nailed that one and that actually helped me throughout university because even my junior year, my junior and senior year, I roommate with the same same girl who is now like my one of my best friends. And shout out to you, Jamie. What's up, girl? And um, I need to call her. I need to call her. I think she's expecting soon. So anyway, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her. So anyway, because you build relationships and hopefully these relationships can move on into life after you start having kids. You know, you want to have some college friends. I feel like, you know, those are lifetime friends. It's a little bit different than high school. But I really enjoyed uh, university. I really did. Okay, so communication in terms of door rooms, in terms of social life, okay? I'm just going to tell you with me, okay? I am a scholar. I need, I need to like be in the library. I need to like not have distractions. Uh, I don't drink. So I didn't really go to the frat parties. I was, the guys, the guys, okay, they, Okay, so the fraternities had frat parties every weekend, and I just saw a little bit too much going on that kind of like stirred me, uh, deterred me from that area. And no, no, like one girl was on the, and I'm not here to scare y'all, but she was on the, I'm supposed to be doing my brows. She was on the, what, what I want to say on the grass she didn't she woke up with no clothes on like how do you not do that how do you do that don't know so yeah she was a great example of why don't go to a party by yourself and y'all I was on a scholarship I had no time to fool around okay and I don't trust myself with alcohol anyway although I don't drink I'm kind of like I'm good with Red Bull okay I don't need to add alcohol to this. Do y'all know how I, I would be probably like the Tasmanian devil from Looney Tunes if that ever happened? So no, we don't want to do that. Okay, so yeah, partying really wasn't my thing, but there were other social things that I was um, a part of. I was a part of the multicultural committee. Uh, we had a um, committee. I wasn't into Greek, although over half of the campus were Greek. So I just really didn't get into it. I felt I, I have my reasons. Okay. I just didn't feel like I'm like, why am I paying to be a part of something? And I need to pay my tuition and my books because books alone were like $400 my first semester. What? I was like, what in the world? You go from free books to high school, from high school to paying $400 for books. And then you want me to pay another $500?
to be a part of a sorority? No, ma'am. But that's just me. Um, I felt like that there were other things that were free that I could be a part of in terms of social life. So there was a lot of stuff going on. We had crawfish bowls and we had a lot of fun. Okay. So social life, I feel like it is important to be a part of groups, learn new people. I was, I was a part of the Spanish club and I just had a lot of fun in that area. Okay. So social life is important. Be a part of things that you feel like you can tr you can trust yourself and be responsible to do because some people get out of hand and I was a resident assistant my sophomore year but yeah it was crazy you see a lot of things being a resident assistant but also where in the world hope y'all watching Game of Tones on my channel I was just picking up stuff from for Game of Tones anyway and my Desi Perkins shades. I have an idea of how I want to do like my sunglass collection. Um, that was requested. But anyway, see, I don't need alcohol. Do y'all see? I, I need to stay on, stay on task, Melissa. This is the old packaging of the browsings. I love this stuff. This is so good. I'm a brow powder like fiend, okay? So anyway um i'll do it this way can y'all we'll talk and i'll do it this way while we chit chat boys social life let's we talked about social life and just be responsible you know that's all i can say about that i'm sounding like this is like big sis talking to you i'm not a parent this is big sis which i've been thinking about a series called hey big sis talking about like some of my life experiences and I have four sisters. I'm the oldest of four sisters. And it's seven of us. I have two older brothers. And I'm the oldest girl. And then I have a younger brother and four younger sisters. Who have all been to college, by the way. And so very proud of. We're doctors. We're, I think I'm the only girl. Well, no. There's another girl that's not in the medical field. But um, half of us are in the medical field. Half of us are not boys stay away from them <laughs> no i'm just kidding. uh first year i don't know i think upperclassmen you have to be really careful with with being a freshman we had a saying they called us fresh meat <laughs> what does that mean you're the untainted you're the the unscathed you're the untouched and some of them want to touch you I think being smart is just seeing how other girls react to the guy. Girls with sense, okay? Because I knew some people were just falling over this guy. He was like a popular basketball player. And he called himself having game. Uh, just know that I feel like boys, you think that boys in high school are walking walking hormone i feel like guys in college are worse <laughs> to be honest with you some of them are mature but just remember they're a walking hormone with a permit would you trust someone that's like really young behind the wheel no like really young you know what i mean without a permit or without a driver's license no sometimes someone that's reckless reckless and crazy and a walk, walking hormone is even worse with a permit just because they can drive everywhere and run over you. <laughs> but I just say be wise and uh, not even just with uh, with boys. I did want to say this in terms of, you know, from big sis to, you know, little sis. Just even with walking at night, our campus was pretty big. So walking at night, I wanted to make sure that I was at my dorm at a certain time. It's like just too many bushes and too many things lurking around. And, you know, if you're going to be out, be out with someone who you, you know, deem as trustworthy. You know what I mean? Um, because let's just be real. Date rape and date rape happens rape happens on camp college campuses and i'm not saying this to scare you i'm saying it to you know for it to 
bring you to a reality of, you know, just not to be naive and out anytime, you know, that's the reason why our parents had curfews. I didn't realize that until college, you know, because we always think they just want to keep us from having the fun. I would just say be careful in terms of, you know, being out. And I'm saying that from a an RA standpoint, I was a resident assistant. I was responsible for letting people know, like, how important the rules were. I, we had, like, a rape. We had a, like, a rape type of seminar and dealing with date rape and how to deal with, you know, even girls who are being abused by their boyfriends. Uh, it's just certain things that can happen. And maybe I'll talk about that more. Let me know if you want a hey. I, I want to come with a hey big sis series anyway. But maybe talking about some of the things that we talked about in our RA training. In terms of date rape. In terms of dealing with someone in an abusive relationship. Dealing with like college bullying is different than high school bullying. Okay. Um, if you're dealing with, you know, depression, anxiety. A lot of times suicide. Oh my goodness. There's so many uh, issues in terms of, you know, dealing with that on college campuses. So let me know if you want me to talk about that. I, I would love to come and, and chit chat because I feel like a lot of people deal with that. Um, being homesick, you know, I helped house a lot of the multicultural um, or the foreign exchange students. One of my best friends was... From Japan another one was from Ireland and I just remember you know someone being that far away from home my house became like the fried chicken place my mom was amazing with our with our uh, friends who were for you know foreign and from a different country and you know many times especially during summer when they couldn't go home we could go home um, many of them slept on our couches and it was just fun, you know, but let me know if you want to see something like that or hear about that. And yeah, those are like, kind of like just some quick tips. I know I'm saying quick, but I felt like I couldn't talk the, the real way that I wanted to talk to, you know, how you talk to your girlfriend, y'all doing your makeup and stuff like that. That's why I kind of like wanted to come on here and be easy going with it. I am collabing with my girl CJ of Beauty Essentials in this giveaway. So y'all, I'm gonna put on some, I don't even have a mascara. Let me throw on some mascara, put on something on my lips, and then we will come with the rest of the giveaway. Okay. Okay, so I am back. I went a little colorful today. Yes. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy those tips and my experience from university. That's basically from freshman to senior year. Not really. I can get more in depth into like as it went along. If you want any topic in the hey big sis category, if you want me to talk more about boys, if you want me to talk more about my campus experience or even like study tips, I got you. I got you. So um, yeah, let's just jump right into this giveaway. This is what you guys have been waiting for. So instead of doing the, the traditional supplies and everything, this is geared towards more of like end of high school going into college type of giveaway so if you are going to college congratulations this is for you boo and if you're already in college congratulations hang on in there you're almost to the finish line uh into the real world so yeah let me get into what i am giving you guys i wanted it to be more of a kind of like campus survival kit slash high school end of high school type of congratulatory type of giveaway I don't have the supplies and all that kind of stuff. I wanted, I'm not sure what, um, I'm not sure what CJ is going to give. Uh, by the way, y'all know we have collabed before. So head on over to her channel. Let her know if I sent you. If you are from CJ's channel, what's up? Hope you stick around. And yeah, I should have said that in the beginning, but yes, let's get into what you'll need. And I actually 
kind of went from what I felt like I needed my first year and what I didn't have and maybe someone helped me out with and that is the first thing is the toilet towel. I love this. First of all y'all know I love animal print but this is a microfiber hair microfiber hair towel and I try to get something that was universal for like straight relaxed natural hair whether you're any of those but uh this is a twirly towel it's super cute it shows you on the on the back how to twirl it so don't fret and this is better than a terry towel or a regular towel you don't want to put that on your hair it's very damaging but this will dry your hair and you know walk back to your dorm room from the bathroom that you're going to be sharing with other girls and you know It'll keep it from dripping all over, you know, the hallway floor. So anyway, wanted to give you that. We are talking about saving some money on my channel. Okay, so definitely check out save, let's save, uh, let's save 10K hashtag, hashtag let's save 10K is going on on my channel. And so we want to save some money and I want you to have some money for a spring break. So I saw this. This is super cute. It says spring break break fun it's actually a shadow box bank so you put your money here you actually get to see your savings put it in a safe place y'all so this is basically for your spring break and it's super cute and it also looks like something you know if you're going to keep this out make sure that your roommate is <laughs> trustworthy i'm just saying but i wanted this to be cute and yeah I mean, you don't have to put change in here, but if whatever you want. But anyway, I thought this was super cute. So I'm actually including that. I'm also, we used to, in back in the day, we used to call this a caboodle, but this is more of a storage box with a flip top lid. I'm not going to take off the seal just because I feel like this is what keeps it nice and neat. But this is what's going to store all the other stuff that I'm going to be giving you. So yeah, this is like your travel makeup kit and you can take this to the bathroom when you go. You know you need to have something portable. So I wanted to give you something like this. Okay, so let's get into all of the stuff. I wanted to find a really cute tote. If I can't find a tote, it'll come in this. But I wanted to find something cuter than this, y'all. But this is from my friend, Kelly D Diane. And she does, like, handbags and wristlets and stuff like that. So all of this is filled with makeup and beauty essentials and stuff that you'll need your first year. I am going to show you a few of the things, but I'm not going to share everything. Because I am going to post, like, some hints on Instagram just you know to build up the intensity of, of this thing you know what I'm saying because this is some really great stuff so let me just share some of the things you're gonna get I have body moisturizer I have hair shampoos these are great for travel especially if you are going away on a weekend you know you got spring break you have different things on college campus you know if you're staying over your friend's house you know um, that way you don't have to take your whole bottles you can take these so I have y'all know I have some sheet masks this one is actually moisturizing socks for your feet kind of like a feet, foot mask I put a makeup bag in here from Ipsy so that you can actually put in your purse with your stuff in it. I have some face masks, more face masks. I have hair products in here, a heat protectant. I have some called Beauty School Dropout. I thought that this would be great for back to school. These are some palettes that you can throw in your purse, but I have some other palettes in there. I have a blush and contour palette for you guys. I have some some uh, nail her nails in here. Ooh, y'all, I actually have an Ipsy Glam bag for you. So you're getting what I give every month on my channel. You're getting an Ipsy Glam bag filled with Ipsy items in here. I have, oh, a makeup kit, a brush kit in here. I have nail polishes. I have leave-in conditioner. And I wanted to cater this towards like natural, relaxed, and straight uh beauties so i don't necessarily have curly hair products because i don't know who's gonna be getting this so uh just to let you know but it's universal i have rainforest of the sea tart i have lip products i have color pop i just got a lot of great stuff in here that i would want to get y'all and that's how i do my giveaways why would i give it away if i didn't want it you know what i'm saying but this is going to hook you up okay for high school slash college okay you're getting some great stuff so i'm gonna put this over here y'all see pictures on instagram i might do a snapchat let me know what you guys want to see in terms of 
how you want to view all the items I just didn't want to go through every single thing but I probably will do a flat lay and let you guys see everything so hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah let me know if you want to see more hey big sis series um i i wanted to bring a different dimension that's just not typical beauty here on my channel and i feel like that that's great in terms of like advice you know from your big sis if you don't have a big sister i got you okay so thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see beautiful you in the next video bye ladies. <laughs>